now where two British members of the Islamic State terror group thought to be members of a cell notorious for beheading hostages in Syria have demanded a trial at the International Criminal Court rather than at the United States. Alexander Amon Kote in an interview said that the trial of the ICC would be a logical option. Kote, who is of the Ghanaian and Greek Cypriot descent, is from London's Paddington neighborhood. He would converted to Islam reportedly in his 20s. Possibly. Maybe in the international court. Probably might be fairer than the US. The Corte had further said that the killings of the captives was regrettable and could have been avoided. Now the I IS cell, dubbed the Beatles, became known for its brutality, holding in captivity more than 20 Western hostages and also torturing and killing several of them, including American, British and Japanese journalists and also aid workers in the years 2014 and 2015. I didn't see uh, the benefit in executing them. I didn't see uh, the benefit in that for, for either party. <laughs> uh, and I find it strange and, uh, and I'm sure they themselves would have, I'm sure, uh, felt quite uh, abandoned and, the, uh, and uh, annoyed at the fact that the British and the Americans didn't negotiate and didn't come to some kind of agreement for their release. Whereas others, from what we read as well in the media, others came, were released. So I'm sure that this is, I mean, it, it's something that could have been avoided on both parties, both sides. As for my position, uh, I didn't see any benefit and uh, it was something that was, uh, yeah, regrettable. Now, another captive, Al Shafi Al Sheikh, has said that the revocation of the citizenship exposes them to rendition and torture. Now, Al Sheikh, whose family came to Britain from Sudan when he was a child, was a mechanic from the White City in West London. Being stripped of citizenship doesn't carry any implications other than <clears throat> possibilities of rendition. You must understand what rendition is. Being taken to <coughs> any foreign land and treated in any way and having nobody to vouch for you or ask about you or even investigate officially what your status is because you don't belong to anything any official state or, or government even cares about you at this point so when you say you've taken someone's citizenship away it carries this implication so if, if the British government was rendering people in 2009 Somalia and Yemen, places like this, and putting them in the weirdest remote countries you could think of and torturing them. So what about someone who, and these were British citizens, American citizens, uh, Germans, Swedes. So what about now you have people, who, <coughs> two guys who don't even have any citizenship? Now the two were captured in early January in eastern Syria by the U.S.-backed Kurdish forces amidst the collapse of the so-called Islamic State. Now though the two acknowledged being members of the Islamic State group, but they have denied being part of the beheading cell or have been involved in kidnappings or killings. Now the parents of the victims say that the two should be brought to the United States to face the country's justice system.